All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi with the beautiful Christina K. Welcome back to the channel. Today is gonna be a very fun video because we're actually gonna be starting the Carbon Nero body kit for our Lamborghini Urus. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Also, I'm filming on the new GoPro Hero 11 in 4K for you guys. So you have to let me know how it looks in the audio and all that kind of stuff as well. I know GoPros don't do well in low light, but um, supposedly this one has a bigger sensor, so it should do better in low light settings. And um, I wanna show you guys the house later on when we come back because Christina decorated the entire thing and it looks incredible when all the lights and everything are on. Teens, are you gonna keep bending over? See your asses in the camera? Are we gonna No, do I was fluffing the fluffing? tree. Like I, fluffing the tree is what takes the longest. I got something for you to There's fluff. There's nothing on, <laughs> I am gonna pass hard hey. on that. <laughs> I'm actually very busy right now. <laughs> okay, let's go unbox the uh, carbon. We gotta find the carbon rear diffuser. And we're also gonna bring the uh, carbon skirts. Jacket. It's cold it's outside. It's in the 40s, outside. but it's also very windy. There's, an, it's in the middle of the day, and it's dark for some reason. Oh. This is the part of Pennsylvania that gets oh, really, really jacket shitty. That's pretty rad. Tell them where that you got to, it from, because Amazon. everyone's gonna ask it's you. It's on Amazon. Okay, so I it's just, heated it's, jackets on Amazon. It's D, D V B U. D E V B U. Honestly, I just typed in heated jacket. It was the first one I came up. I bought it. There you go. She loves Amazon. <laughs> I don't do research. I just buy it, and it's great. Keeps me warm. We gotta head out to the detached garage, and I still need to figure out what I wanna do with this floor. I kinda just wanna do the epoxy, honestly, like a beautiful black epoxy, something that matches um, the house. But people who are, well, no one was really complaining about the black. Well, some people were, they were saying it was boring, um, and I get it, I mean, it is kinda boring. Like, I tried to do that super cool green wrap that would've matched the Street Fighter STO, but it was sold out, so I couldn't do it. Um, I did find a really cool wrap design that I think we could use red accents to mimic that. That will also has a, has a 63 on it. So maybe I'll show you that when we get over to Ben's at West Shore Auto. He's the one that's gonna install the uh, carbon rear diffuser. But so this is what we're replacing today is the silver rear diffuser. So that is gonna be going bye-bye because -bye it looks absolutely trash after we wrap the car. But um, yeah, it's also dirty as shit. It was raining. I, it's impossible to keep these cars clean. I might even bring, I'm gonna bring the fender flares too because we're gonna be testing out uh, how far the wheel spacers need to be. I think they're gonna be 30 millimeters, but we'll find out when we get over there. You're gonna open, open everything up. It's cold, it's cold. Turn that on. This feels warm. So we gotta dig in here. There's a couple of things we gotta do. We gotta find the carbon rear diffuser. We gotta find the front and rear side skirts. Well, just one side of those. And then we also have to find out if there's any hardware in here. I believe they said there is some hardware yeah, in here. Box. Yeah, so we gotta dig pretty yeah. long in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give her a hand. Okay, so we found some side skirts. We're gonna use those for the wheel spacers. Uh, the big carbon rear diffuser, which is gonna be absolutely incredible. Um, they did send over directions for Ben to use, which is very helpful. And again, this is the Nero Carbon Kit from Urban Automotive. So they sponsored this build. So if you guys are interested, I will put links to everything that they have in the description below and also as the first pinned comment. Huge shout out to them for sending over this kit. It's gonna look absolutely incredible when we're done. She's just trying to find the, um, the hardware that we're trying to find. Yeah. There's like a box within a box of box hardware. Of Look at her deer feed over there. It's, I'm running low. I need this was supposed to be my build series garage and it turned into her animal feeding garage. Oh, I found it. Oh. Fixing kit and badges. Okay. I need to open it. Is that all that it is? Do you think there's more of those? Or is that just that one? I only remember seeing one. One? Thing. Did we get everything out though? I don't feel like we, like did we really unbox all this shit when we first did it? Because remember it was cold outside and we were kind of rushing. Hmm. Okay, let's just bring that. See what happens. I'll, I'll keep looking. Just... If worst comes to worst, I mean, we're probably gonna pick it up tomorrow anyway. So we could always bring, if there's something else in here we missed, here. we could always check for more. Oh, that is pretty heavy. So that's everything we need. We go load up the Urus and get out of here. All right, well, it's not the prettiest fit, but we got it in there. It's pretty freaking massive. So I told Tina she's gonna have to just be careful when she's driving, because I don't, I don't think it's gonna really go anywhere. I try to put stuff like under it to, but yeah, I mean, Urus is a lot bigger than, than you would think. It has a lot more space than you would think. Hopefully nothing gets crunched right here. Didn't sound like it. Too bad it's not, too bad it's not clean. It'd be really nice to feel it's clean. Oh, all right, I guess she's out. 
Honestly, <laughs> driving down this driveway, those, those clouds look beautiful. That car looks absolutely insane. I can't wait to get rid of their diffuser, but like the house, like it still, this still doesn't feel like my stuff. Like the house, the cars, all that. Like it just, I don't know. It's, it feels like I'm living a dream right now. And I'm just gonna wake up one day and be poor and broke again, which could very well likely happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let's see if we can get some footage of the Urus. I was telling them how badass that car looked rolling down the street, or rolling down our driveway. Uh, maybe try the other side. Can you get over? I can't really see it from this side. That's, that's why I did it on the other side. Yeah. It, dude, the clouds and everything, I hope this footage looks good because on the GoPro it looks incredible. Yeah, wow. Look at that thing <laughs> rolling with the blacked out wheels, the tint of satin black wrap and I think I found the type of accent. You're gonna, you're gonna see the you're gonna see the blue and this is the last time you're gonna see the ugly gray. Oh yeah in the back. That's it. The back Say the goodbye blue. to the, the silver diffuser. It's time to go to Carbon Town baby. <laughs> This car feels so fast and light after driving the Urus around. I mean, that's a fast car too, but it's just, there's no way to get around how heavy that fucking thing is, dude. Listen to this thing. Fast speed exhaust system. <laughs> I can't wait to get the fast speed uh, exhaust down pipes and tune on the Urus, dude. It's gonna sound freaking insane. All right, we have arrived at West Shore Auto Center, AKA Rock Hard Auto Center. Owner Benjamin Buttons. <laughs> just we nothing. Wait till it's in there. But Nick. So we don't have to oh. The doors. That's a good point. We need to go in there so he can tell us what they. Oh okay. Let's, all right, let's go find him. <laughs> all right, they're watching uh, World Cup soccer. Portugal just uh, scored on a penalty kick. It almost looked like illegal what he did. But I guess you can take as many steps as you want up to the kick. Um, what the hell is going on here? Uh, it's a uh, 2007 335 I. This is a uh, Gasson Automotive built, uh, thousand horsepower capable. Oh my engine. God! What do you, what size is this? Uh, it's a three liter inline six cylinder. Oh, inline six. Okay, that's why I was confused. It has a really big turbo. Jesus, it's crazy. I don't really see a lot of engine car engines sitting out like this. So. Yeah, it's the easiest way to do it on these cars. Yeah, you that's... Drop, you drop it out as an engine transmission and a subframe just onto a table. That is wild. Since you guys always like seeing Dotto's tool set up, I'll take a look at Benjamin Button's setup. All this right. is my top drawer. Uh-huh. And my wrench drawer. Wrench drawer. Damn. That's, that's a pretty big wrench. wrench. What no, the right. hell is that big wrench uh, for? 50 millimeter? What is this for? Uh, this is for specifically for BMW drive shafts. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Uh, from there, it's been almost up. These are all my triple squares, Allen's, Torx. Jeez, Louise. And so, then, do you think Dotto still has more tools than you? Uh, probably, yeah. <laughs> He's got so probably. many. Probably. Hammers, I have an accent. Why? Or, why? I, I don't know, it's a hammer. Why? Everything's a hammer. Uh -huh. So, he told us we're gonna put the Urus in the first bay, but the car that's in the first bay, uh, these are the engine rod bearings for these that are, car. So, these are the connecting rod bearings. That's crazy. It is a... Uh, How does that happen? Well, the car that came out of is an E60 M5, and if any of your followers know anything, the second I said that, then they knew exactly why it happened. <laughs> because they they run 10W60 engine oil, which is extremely thick. It's meant for, because it's a high revving, naturally aspirated V10. Uh -huh. um, and they are known for spinning bearings just due to poor, all, poor quality oil supply. This one spun bearings because it destroyed the low pressure oil pump, so it was a scorched mark. Scorch mark in there, yeah. and then there's a bunch of wear, especially what? on the spider gears. All right, we just had to push a car that was blown up out of his shop, and now he's gonna bring the Urus in to the first bay there. That's the last spot you're gonna see of the uh, the silver diffuser. Goodbye. Goodbye, silver diffuser. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm leaving. <laughs> this is yours now. Look at this car, though. Good God. 
That is incredible. Actually, I'm going to show you guys the car that we found that has accents, and I think we're going to use that as a as inspiration for adding some red accents to this car. And when you see it, it looks insane. I sent it to Ben and he was like, oh my God, that's incredible. All right, so first thing we're doing is test fitting the side wheel arches. Um, funny thing is they sent us, whoops, directions on how these install. And Ben said they literally just double-sided tape on with some other stuff too, but um, over top of the regular wheel arches. The nice part about that is you can take these off and it doesn't you're not cutting the car to get like a wide body look or anything like that and i think it's look at but look how beautiful that is mm -hmm. isn't that incredible it, it might sit up, oh i think it sits up like that ben yeah it might. there's a lip here yeah it's kind of weird it'll be a little there, bit there that's how around. it sits right there yeah it'll be a little bit of an egg yeah around. there that's how it sits right. so we're trying to figure out we're going to use wheel spacer since i didn't buy new wheels these are 22 inch wheels 30 mil 30 mil that's what i that's big, what he big boys that's what he thought too so we're gonna, what wheel spacers do is they sit on the other side of the tire and they space the tire out. So he's trying to measure, we wanna get this thing sitting like right here basically. So it's nice cause it's not super wide, but it's gonna add a little bit more stance. There's all on the front and the back of the car. Then we'll space our wheels out a little bit instead of buying new wheels that are bigger. They recommend 23 inch, but I think this looks fine, doesn't it? Like the wheel sitting in here, yeah. it still fills up the arch just fine. And then we this have is, this isn't too big. And we have snow tires on this too. This is one of the main reasons why I wanted this kit. We don't because, have snow tires. No, I'm saying we have snow tires that fit the these wheel wheels. Go, yeah. These wheels, yeah. If you go 23 inch, there's no snow tires for 23 inch wheels. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be sweet. <laughs> all right. So after we got the spacers all measured up, we're good. That's all we needed those for for today. Um, he's already starting to tear stuff apart back here. So what do you have to do? to get this on? So first step, uh, well, you gotta pull the rear bumper. You That's insane. You do everything off. When yeah. you say rear bumper, is that this? This whole thing? Yeah, so the whole way from here, the whole way down to the bottom of the Holy diffuser there. shit. So to start, uh, you pull these, which I already yanked them off. Uh -huh. uh, you pull the tail lights, which is just two T30s there. Uh -huh. um, then you got a bunch of bolts. You have oh, one I'm on each side up here. You have bolts behind the headlight here that hold the bumper up. There's bolts underneath that hold the diffuser to like an under section. You have bolts on the other side of the exhaust tips. <laughs> um, there's clips that hold the bumper in over there. You gotta pop them out carefully. If you don't break them. Otherwise you break them. Yeah. And it's a Lamborghini, it's uh -huh. expensive. Probably Everything's as expensive. Much as a small house. <laughs> um, yeah, and then everything else is simple. Just okay. You throw your bumper off and it's a bunch of connectors you gotta disconnect. Uh, for the parking sensors, the rear lights, other random odds and ends. Oh yeah. Then once the rear bumper is off, then it's just pop the old diffuser out, pop the new one in, and then redo epoxy every... the new one in. Uh -huh. um, make sure fitment's good, all that other fun stuff, and uh -huh. then just pop the rear bumper back on. Okay. So. All right. Actually, before we leave, uh, I wanted to show Ben. What, well, actually, I already sent these to Ben, but this is what I was kind of thinking. So I, I believe this is based on the Sion. The colors aren't really coming through correctly on the GoPro, but that's not the important part. The important part is the accent, this yellow and the 63 and these little yellow accents, even on the wheels and stuff. And then on the diffuser, I wouldn't do the front hood shit because they have a carbon hood on that one. But basically something like that, like with all those accents in red on ours, I think would look really, really good. It's just Ooh, enough anything. little accents, you know, it's nothing too yeah, crazy. Yeah, it's not crazy. Is but it's, center locks? Yeah. Oh yeah, it does have the yeah. center locks. That's pretty neat. I know, they're the STO wheels. They make them for the Urus. That's so cool. That would be actually awesome to get, but they're probably like 30 or 40 thousand dollars i'm not paying that that's absurd I thought i sent you a side shot did you not save it i don't know i saved all the ones you sent me hmm. that one right there mm -hmm. so yeah let me know what you guys think of that i think that's my favorite right now it wouldn't be exactly the same i don't want to copy their design exactly but we could use some sort of inspiration from that and do some red accents on this and then it would kind of match the bike and it would also be like kind of like our own little design what do you think teens you like that one i like it yeah yeah i like it's that not, too not too much color mm -hmm. wheel arch is off um, tail lights are out and he said that all of these bolts are these plastic what are they oh it's like aluminum but he said they're all t25 is that what you said uh-huh all of them that's actually brilliant dado and i complain about that all the time with the motorcycle yeah, every single one of them is a t25 yeah that's wild but yeah so what what do you have a couple more bolts and then the whole uh i have i think like seven eight millimeter bolts under there those are different. and this whole thing's gonna come off Basically, yeah. Oh God, I don't even want to Remember be here six, for this. Seven, five, eight millimeter bolts. Are you going off the directions from the Urban Automotive website? Yeah. Okay, sweet. Makes my life a lot That is really nice. I will link the directions yeah, so I have in the description below. Six more bolts and then this bumper's coming off. All right. Okay, look at this. <laughs> 
So that's the whole bumper right there. Si, sí, senor. <laughs> yeah. So this is probably the most intense thing we're gonna have to do for this kit, right? Yeah. You think the front splitter will be this bad? The front, the front splitter is easier. Okay, okay good. Part. So this is the I'm worst. I'm gonna put you to work. So we're starting, yeah. So we're starting with the worst part, right? Yes. Is that what you're saying? God, this is so flexible. Let's try to get over here. Man, oh, so you're disconnecting all these? Yes. Are these the parking sensors and all that shit? Yeah, I have to basically disconnect every single one of these. Holy hell, dude. This thing's actually pretty heavy. Oh my God. So we got it sitting here on the ground now. This is why you had to take it off because you have to get access to this. This is the diffuser right here. Obviously the carbon one's gonna be a lot bigger. Um, ben said, for some reason there's silicone, epoxy, epoxy sorry, kind. on all of these clips. So he's literally gonna have to sit here with a razor and remove it. Yeah, there's in order to get it off. Yeah, so this is gonna take some time. There's probably Look at this. 40 of them. Three hours later, we're still here. <laughs> Just kidding. It turned out that he actually could use an extra hand or two, so we helped him as much as we could. So we got this thing off. What are you doing now? I am pulling the mesh out of your factory diffuser to install into your other diffuser. Oh, that actually sits in it. Oh, yeah. oh, that sits in here, huh? Yep. Is that what you're doing? You're pulling that mesh out? Yeah, oh, pepperoni, okay. pepperonis. Jesus oh, Louise, dude. Okay. So look at the difference in size between that thing and this freaking thing. Ha! Holy crap, there it is. It's, it's a there. shame that I have to reuse that plastic piece. At least it's black, I guess. Well, yeah, it's just a black piece of mesh. And then what, you're gonna have to pull all these electronics out of there too, right? Yeah, I have to pull that sensor out, and of course, it's aftermarket, so they didn't get anywhere to mount it, so I'm just gonna... Create something or zip tie or something? Uh, I'm just gonna throw some 3M double-sided tape okay. on this. Okay, that works. So it's light and it easy, like right? here somewhere. Yeah, exactly where it was. The next stage was popping it into the actual bumper so you can kind of see it, how it looks right now. They got a, a rug out so they could set it down on here because the way that it attaches, which is kind of crazy, I guess they said this is pretty normal for this kind of stuff, is um, there's just these clips and then you basically just have to, um, what are you using? Epoxy. Epoxy them. It's like plastic bulb. Yeah, basically like plastic, right? Like it just hardens and then keeps it on there. And there, there are some bolts obviously that attach yeah. it as well. All right, so we left them. Um, we got the epoxy and everything all done, and it just basically has to sit there overnight, but it looks incredible. I should have showed you, but I totally forgot. I haven't ate anything all day. We stopped and grabbed some Jersey Mike's. Uh, we do the, what is this, turkey? Number with seven. cheese, number seven, turkey Mike's program. way. Look at this. Oh my God, it's so freaking good. Jersey Mike's is absolutely incredible. And then um, I'm gonna have teens turn on all of our Christmas stuff, and we'll show you how, ah, guys what that looks fall. like. Hi, Rambi. Say hi, say hi. You can't even see. Say me. hi. Cause it's black. What are you doing, bud? We can't even see you. You're too dark. Oh, because your camera sucks. He's That's happy why. and he's it's healthy. Light. Look at him. He is happy and healthy. Look at the little guy. He sleeps he'll with us in bed months. now. He'll be five months this week. As he limps away. As he, limps. he uses it like whenever he, he'll just use it. He'll like use it when, he when he's plays, playing and, and everything, and then he limps something. on it, but it's totally healed. So I don't know. He's. Imagine you feel sorry for him. Ooh, what do we got here? Habanero. Habanero tostitas. Uh huh. Mmm. Tostitos. Oh, you damn. You like to say A. You like to say Tostitos. 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 Uh -huh. Tostitos. Whatever. That's good. All right, so she turned all the lights on. And we'll also get to see how this thing is at low light scenarios. But um, her family's coming to visit her dad, her brother, and then some other family for Christmas. So she wanted to decorate the house. Just I wasn't going to decorate it all because it's such a pain in the ass. Yeah, it's a lot of work. So I just did. Last year I did the bar, the kitchen, the dining yeah. room, the living room. This year I just did basically the living room and the dining room. Yeah. But I put up three Christmas trees. On Each there. one took an hour and a half there. just to open and fluff. So yeah. I don't even have decorations on these She's yet. She's good at but fluffing. I'm really good at fluffing. We discussed that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> but for the most part, I mean, it's, you know, just subtle Just little subtle things. details, but it is. Can you turn some light on? <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah. The, the quality is going to be dog shit. I can tell already. The cats are running around up there like idiots. Yeah, just like little things here, stuff all the way above there. Look at Oro. He wants to jump onto Oro, this no, thing. Dare jump up there. I'm pretty sure he pushed Ginger off of that onto the ground. We don't know. We when don't she was know. a kitten. It's a theory. <laughs> she certainly wouldn't have jumped herself. We got this little display here. That thing's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I got that for my birthday. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. It's like feed the deer. And then that tree there, I told her we just need a cool old school Ducati right here. 
No, we got Desi. Okay. Desi, we need you to come to the center. They're all sitting around looking at each other. Ginger's <laughs> under there. Desi's here. Oro's up Oro's there. Oro's up there. Where's Rainbow? And then this wraps all the way around up to here to the other tree right there. We still need to do something up here for a, like a seating area or something. Like yeah, it's a waste of money. Over there. They would take away the echo in here. <laughs> Rambo's up here with Oro. What are you doing, Oro? What? It's funny how cats just don't give a shit about height at all. Oh. They just don't care. But yeah, that's it. Christina's going to do some editing for her OnlyFans content. That's always linked in the description below. And then uh, we're probably going to hang out and watch a movie or something. What were we just watching? Dukes of Hazard. We yeah, started we'll probably it, finish Dukes of Hazard so. at some point. Yeah, it's been a long day. We haven't even showered. That's the first oh, meal shit. I've had. Oh, yeah. Dang it. I got so, oh. yeah, we'll probably pick this up tomorrow whenever Ben gives us the call that it's all done and I can't wait to see how it looks. All right, so it's the next morning. I just got the call from Benjamin Buttons that the Urus is all done. He got everything put back together. I also yesterday downloaded the footage from the GoPro and looked at it and it looks like dog shit. <laughs> and I don't know why that is. Maybe there wasn't enough light, but I feel like the Hero 10 actually even looked better than the 11 did. And I'm using all the same settings. It's the only things I changed were like leaving a lot of stuff on auto. So it should auto adjust, which is what I read online was the best settings. I turned off auto boost which is like a dynamic stabilization thing. So maybe that might help, but it's so heartbreaking because I love using this camera to film, but I don't know, it kind of sucks. So um, let me know what you guys think. If I should just go back to the G7X, I'm gonna grab the uh, R8 and head over and check out and see how the diffuser looks. So this is the same spot I was filming yesterday with this camera, but now I switched some settings around. So I'm gonna see what it looks like now. incredible on the footage that I'm watching and this is why I love this camera because then I can flip it around and talk to you guys you know uh, why can't GoPro put a larger sensor in this damn thing so that it works in lower light conditions that's my dream camera they'll never do it you did the bumper by yourself oh my god thank you Benjamin let's take a look see he sent me a photo but you gotta see it in real life to really appreciate like, Jesus what a difference just looks so aggressive holy crap yeah it does look super aggressive and just clean so there's a little taste of how that it's booty, gonna look that booty's looking good <laughs> dude juicy so again huge shout out to urban yeah, automotive no? Straight? Oh, nice. and look at the fitment like I mean, there's no gaps at all. How much carbon, Jerry? You've worked on on motorcycles and like I'm shocked. Spin. No, I'm shocked. The fact that this is not on Uh-huh. They know what they're doing. Yeah, I'm honestly shocked. Well, that's good. That's a good sign. So hopefully every piece goes on like this. No and mods, no fighting. Nothing. Yeah, no mods, no nothing. This was the best carbon piece I've ever installed. Like easiest, you I've mean? Installed. Best fitment, easiest. I've the quality. Dozens, hundreds. Awesome. Yeah, like, it yeah. Was, it was perfectly made. All the holes <laughs> lined right up. Yeah, that's shocking. Like, the, and there's two holes on either side where it actually bolts to the factory bumper, to the factory like lower half. Yeah, which bumper. we always have to change. And nothing. They're yeah. Drilling, everything so lined right up. That's awesome. Make this in different colors? Yes, they do. We could get one in black if you want. Or even or red. red. If or you red. red accent. Yeah, yeah. So again, huge shout out to Urban Automotive. Their Nero carbon body kit is what we're installing and it looks incredible. incredible yeah. So teens need to get Oro to the vet. No, Rambo. Rambo to the vet. Time to check up on his foot. So we gotta get her out of here and I'll take care of everything else. I think we're coming back here later this week and we're gonna be doing the Nero side skirts and the Nero front splitter. So stay tuned for that. That looks so good. That's incredible. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Dude, God. Batman. Yes. Batman what did someone text message you? You're Batman and I'm Catwoman? Yeah, because and this you're is a cat our lady. vehicle? Yeah. Because I'm a crazy cat lady? That's what we should have been for Halloween. Yep. Tina Wieners is going to head over to the vet, and then when we get home, we'll take a look at it. I guess it's not going to be any different. At I got to take baby Rambo. <laughs> Yeah, well, we'll hopefully they say it's all freaking good to go. Oh, it is. Maybe yeah, another week or two incredible. with that stupid boot on his foot. No, and... it's, I think it's going to be into the new year. Oh, really? He's a kid. He'll just bite it and open it up again. That's true. It needs to be it's, like completely healed. It has to be, and it's not. Yeah. Give but us a little revy poo. A little revy poo? Yeah, just a little one. Okay. All right. 
have a safe trip. See you soon. So she got back from the vet with Rambo and they said it healed great. So she said we can just leave everything off. I don't know we how much to, so. you're gonna be able to see on camera, but it's done a good job. Pretty much all healed. We didn't realize here, from the sock. You can't see down it. Down here, it's irritated. It's a little irritated right there. So we, so gotta... we have to toughen it up and heal it. So we're back to the cone, but the cone I feel shame. like you can still bite it, but he we'll see. He probably can. So we're going to have to be really careful and monitor him. She said if he starts destroying his leg and his foot and biting it and ripping it open, then they're going to have to take it off. He still limps because that, that leg is actually shorter, but he uses it whenever he needs to. So yeah, hopefully... In a, another week or two, he'll be, he'll be good to go. And then we can throw him back outside. <laughs> I'm kidding. He's probably going to have to stay. He would probably, I think Look he could survive, him. but not, not during winter. <laughs> He's like, no, you'll never get me. This poor guy. Look at how sad he looks walking away. Yeah. But I think I want to pull the car out and show you guys one last <laughs> shot of the diffuser. And then we'll go from there. Look at him. This poor guy. Rambi, you've been through so much, bud. He was sleeping on my face last night meowed and woke me up in the middle of the night literally sleeping on my face for some reason i was like cool thanks yeah. bud i think that's it for this episode it smells like fucking shit out here for some reason <laughs> uh wait i wanted to show them the oh i was gonna remove the, the final result since there's a little bit more light here yeah we gotta unpack all of this i think next week we're gonna go or actually later this week we're gonna go back to west shore auto center and um have been install the side skirts and the front splitter and then he also ordered some spacers when they come in the following week we can do the um the wide body wheel arches and then space the wheels out and then we'll just have the the wing in the back and then the body kit will be done and then from there we're gonna go and start the performance mods from fab speed so that'll be um the downpipes tune filter and exhaust so we won't do that all in one episode though. We'll probably split that up into two. But yeah, that's freaking awesome. And then from there, we'll add the wrap, some wrap colors. I think I like the one that we showed you guys in this video. Let us know what you thought of that color scheme in the video. But yeah, there you go. That's how it looks. And I think I'm returning this GoPro too. I'm gonna go back to the G7X because this just doesn't do a good job of capturing the quality of these parts and stuff like that. If you don't have perfect lighting, I think even probably this isn't enough light to show it. But yeah, again, huge shout out to Urban Automotive for sending out this beautiful uh, Nero carbon body kit for the Urus. If you guys are interested in any parts that they make, I will have links in the description below along with the top pinned comment. Make sure you go and check out their YouTube channel. They make great car content and uh, they're good peeps as well. So yeah, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, give it a big old juicy thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.